When you were in that that Vegas mall and you got in the shootout, take us through that moment. Take us through that day. All right, make a long story short. We ain't even gonna get too in depth with that situation, but they said I shot a gun in the mall. I had to do two years house arrest. I had I got charged with fifteen charges, thirteen assaults with a deadly weapon, one carrying a concealed weapon. And another one shooting in an occupied structure. So make a long story short, I gave a lawyer 10000 She got 13 assaults dropped. I got out of jail on house arrest. I didn't tell nobody. Everybody on Instagram laughing. Pablo dumb as hell. Then my mugshot looked fucked up. Teeth looked hideous as hell. I'm not going to act like some bitches looked it lovely. <laughs> so everybody like this big stupid fucked up teeth ass. Everybody laughing and all that. It just made me see people for who they are. And it made me just see the world for what it is. No matter who you is, they love to see a nigga feel. But shit, make a long story short, nigga just on probation for that shit right now. But it ain't shit, bro. Just miscommunication. Wrong place, wrong time. How long you on probation for? Like two years, two to three years. And I already been on this bitch for like two, three years. I already been on this bitch for probably about a year going on two type shit. And I had to do two years house arrest. I ain't get in no trouble and I don't get hot type shit. So it ain't too much a nigga could get in trouble for. And then they be leaning on you. When they see you doing shit with your life, they don't be on shit. They just doing their job. Were you approached at the mall that day? Make a long story short, man, we ain't even gonna talk about that mall shit. <laughs> Anything they want to know about that mall, just Google that shit. That shit all on Google. Just type in Hashan Quinn. That's my real name. And it's going to tell you everything. He say, she say shit. 13 people said they seen me do some shit. Some motherfucker said it in Spanish. <laughs> Some motherfucker said it in English, so it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. But I feel like I had to go through that shit, not even just the mall shit, but God set me down for a reason. Like, if God ain't set me down, me and you probably would have never met. Mm. And I'm just being honest, bro, because I used to be on bullshit. I'm not going to act like I'm a perfect human being. Because go back to what I told you, I'm not a gangster. I'm not tough, but I'm not no hoe. And I'm a product of my environment. Like, I don't like when people try to pick on me or just pick on somebody that don't pick on other people. So I'm the type of nigga, nigga might see me, think shit sweet, oh, you a bitch ass nigga. And then shit gets sour. So I was one of those type of niggas in the hood. Something might happen, a nigga call me. I go see what's going on. But shit, God set me down because he like, you not no shooter, you not no killer, you not none of that shit. So when I sat on house arrest, a nigga got smart as fuck. I started reading, I gained some pounds. I was way bigger than this. I went up to like 250, I weigh 180 right now. Nigga got chunky as fuck. I start eating three, four meals a day. So it just, it, it's just God, bro. And it's fucked up as black men. We got to go through fucked up shit or go through house arrest, go through this, go through that to change our life. But sometimes God work in mysterious ways. That's like even with NBA Youngboy. You see, he talking about peace. He talking about love. Because, nigga, when you in that house all day, you ain't got shit to do but figure yourself out. And that shit was a blessing, man. That shit was a blessing. I blame Chicago Drill. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I blame Chicago Drill for a lot of shit And I'm gonna say it like this um, Once you have a misunderstanding with somebody It's up It's, I, it's uh, I'm gonna tell you something I don't blame Drill I blame niggas Cause Even if they ain't make Drill music It's the internet Everybody wanna be macho Everybody screaming I'm gonna shoot you niggas I'm gonna go slide on your block I'm gonna do I don't know what made the world get like that I'm telling you, man. So you think Chicago, it was the Chicago drill? When Chicago drill came out, it was no more fighting. Yeah. That shit was in all across America. It was no you couldn't you can't even argue with anybody online right no, now. You, ain't no right now, going tonight, on. go to ain't Say no Cheese argument. comments. Go to Say Cheese comments. Have a have a, a, a little mini debate about something. I I swear to God, it's going it's going to turn into smoking the op. Smoking the pack, sliding, um, oh. all that shit, man. The I Chicago, see what you're saying. The Chicago but, drill turned it all the way to another level to where everybody's scared to take an L. Nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to 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 be, to get on the phone and talk like men. That shit is obsolete. It's not happening no more. Chicago drill fucked the world up. Yeah. Look at look at New, look at look at New York drill. Look at the Philly drill. Look at um. Look at look at Jacksonville, the Jacksonville scene. Look at the Bay Area right now with they 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 that Oakland shit going on. Um, I think the only city to stay true was Detroit, 
Memphis, and Atlanta. Yeah. Everybody else. Everybody else was um So look it, it, Chicago. I'ma say this. I'ma say it ain't fuck it up, but it influenced other people and it influenced a lot of shit. Cause people should try to be like other shit, but it's like you said, it's so crazy because when the Chicago shit dropped, all right, that shit went crazy as fuck. But it's like I don't know. Everybody started stealing their lingo. Everybody started doing what them niggas doing. I don't know when that shit happened. I think it was like 2017, 2018, because everybody talk about ops. Everybody smoking on niggas now. So I see exactly what you're saying when you say that, but I don't know. People got to think for themselves. And then in Chicago, that's what they was going through. Chicago been going through some shit. And Chicago niggas been towing pistols. They've been towing pistols yeah, since they was... Yeah, nah, Chicago always been a crazy city, but when that music shit came out with Chief Keefe and them... It fucked the world up type shit. That shit fucked the world up. It took it to another level. Like, the influence is crazy. Like, like... Yeah. And, and niggas ain't having... Niggas are disrespectful in it now, which... No, nah, niggas too disrespectful nowadays. Like that niggas shit blatant nigg- now. Like that ain't niggas say any niggas say shit that make you want to bust their head. Niggas are talking about niggas' kids. Niggas talk about your dead cousin. Niggas talking about niggas' mamas. Niggas say anything that come to their head, dog. That's why I don't argue with niggas. I can't tell you the last time I argue with a nigga. Yeah, man, it's 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 crazy. Cause ain't no more argue. Ain't no more fighting. A nigga will shoot you just because, and then he'll go cry when he in jail. Ain't that fucked up? <laughs> A nigga kill you, get 15 years, and then be crying like a bitch. That's the saddest shit about the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why I stay out niggas' way, bro. I don't go to parties. They just ask me, like, I swear to God, motherfuckers asked me the other day where I start doing shows. I might not do no more shows. I don't know. I just don't want to be around that type of shit, man. I don't want to be around too many people that's rowdy, no guns. Because like you said, wrong place, wrong time. And anybody could get hit. Bullets ain't got no name. But then a lot of niggas, they they got switches. And niggas just be shooting, not looking what they doing. So I ain't trying to get killed by one of these hoe ass niggas. Because a nigga could kill you and be a straight bitch. Yeah, man. Um, Speaking of that, Takeoff. One of the most unproblematic rappers. Never in any type of beef, never in the, in the tabloids for anything bad. Invited to a, in, an event in Houston, killed. Um, man, the good die young, man. That's a lot of fake ass niggas in this world, man. Bro, that the shit made me young. stop respecting so much shit. I start respecting so much shit, bro. I don't respect just going to the club. I don't respect just going out. Like, if you want anywhere a nigga go, you got to have a purpose, bro. That shit fucked me up, bro. I, I thought the shit was fucked up, and I woke up to this shit. Mind you, I was in Hawaii and shit. I'm on a family vacation, and that's the shit I wake up to. So I couldn't even talk to my grandma for about two hours. She, she don't know shit about takeoff. I couldn't tell her what the fuck was going on. <laughs> But I want to say, Grandma, I don't know right now. Uh, shit, I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real, though. Shit, my grandma asking me some shit. I want to say, Grandma, please leave me the fuck alone. Take off, just die. But I just had to. I want to go sit on the balcony for about an hour or two by myself, dog. That shit really fucked me up. I ain't gonna cap. And that shit even helped me move how I'm moving to this day. And I just told my bro that he said, let's go do some shit yesterday. I'm like, bro, we ain't about to go do that because it ain't about who you about to pull up. You don't never know who 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 going to be there where you going certain places. You don't never know what's going to partake when you there. A nigga might argue with another nigga. That ain't got shit to do with nobody. A nigga get the shooting, bro. Bullets get the fly. Them bitches go fast.